I'm Action Jacqueline and welcome to today's practice. This is going to be a perfect yoga class if you are completely new to yoga. So if you've never even had a yoga class before or you're just getting into it, this is so perfect. I'm gonna explain and get you moving and connected to your body. And it's going to be an amazing start to a beautiful journey. So let's get started. So for our practice today, we're gonna to start here our mats just in a nice crisscross position seated on the floor now if this is uncomfortable for you then just go ahead and place a pillow underneath your bottom like that to elevate your hips a bit so let's connect breath to movement that's what yoga is all about right union that's literally what yoga means so we're gonna inhale up exhale reach the hands down inhale up Exhale, release hands down. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach down. And again, inhale and take in this fresh new breath. The start of a beautiful journey ahead. Exhale down. Good, and then take the shoulders, lift them all the way up as you inhale in. And exhale, I want you to just release any tension that you're holding inside of your body. Again, inhale in and release, let it all go. Again, inhale in and exhale, release. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take a nice easy twist. Reach the left arm up towards the sky first and then place it on the outside of your right knee. Now I want you to sink the hips down into the floor further as you twist and lift up towards the crown of the head. So lift up all the way up towards the sky and just use the knee as an anchor to twist deeper. The hips stay still down on the floor and you're twisting from the navel up. Beautiful work and you can go as deep as you'd like. Taking this time to connect to your body. Big deep breath in, exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more breath in, mindfully move me, moving here. Exhale, twist deeper and release. Nice, let's go to the other side. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, place the right hand over the left knee and twist. Inhale, exhale, twist deeper. Soften the shoulders down, belly is in towards your spine, and you're twisting deeply into that spine. Inhale in, exhale, go, twist deeper, relax the knees, relax the hips, and let that go, beautiful. Yoga is a lot about just allowing yourself to experience your body. Sometimes we're so in our head or outside that we're not connected, and this is just about experiencing. So. Inhale in, we're gonna reach the right arm up and then just go ahead and gently place it over the ear and over the head. Take a nice neck stretch here. You can close your eyes if that feels good for you to help you connect deeper within yourself. And then gently take your head and you're gonna look down as if you're looking down towards your right pocket. And the head can just take you just slightly deeper, never forcing or jerking really mindfully moving and listening to your body and then let that go. Let's go to the other side, inhale in. Exhale, place the hand over the ear, reach over to the side. And notice how my other arm is extending longer to get the stretch all the way through from the bottom of your neck or your chin all the way down towards your shoulder. And then gently twist down, look towards your pocket. This is so good because we're always so tense, right? There's so much tension that can build up in this area of our body. And then release that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we are going to move onto our hands and knees into a cat cow. So this is just spinal flexion and extension. And let's set this up properly. So hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. And you're gonna spread your fingers out wide and you're gonna press your, your finger pads 
into the floor. So I want you to actually feel like you're gripping into the mat. Now, before we even move into our cat-cow, we're gonna work on our forearms. Now, that's a lot of structure, that's a lot of uh, your foundation really to this movement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rise up onto our fingertips and then lower the wrist down. That's it, you're gonna rise up, lower down, up, lower down. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm prepping you to use your forearms so that we can really understand the foundation of any time we put our hands on the ground. Because we put our hands on the ground a lot in yoga. And this will help bring that awareness to your forearms so that it supports your wrists and it strengthens your wrists as well. Good. Four more like that. Three, two, and one. Good, hold it right here. Now we'll go into our cat cow. So right here, you're gonna lift the tailbone up and you're going to lift the heart up towards the sky. Allow the back to totally bend here. You can soften the belly and you're gonna actually feel the chest lift towards the sky, release the head back, chin lifts up. So it's a nice stretch of the front body. Now you're gonna take the tailbone, you're gonna tuck it under, pull the navel in deeply in towards the spine and pull the ribs in. And then you're going to spread the shoulder blades apart from each other. And you're gonna really exaggerate the curb, the top of the back. Push, push, push. Nice, now just reverse that again. Starting with the tailbone, like a nice wave all the way through. And then feel the vertebrae compressing together. Soften the shoulders, release the traps, lift the head and chest up. Good, really exaggerate it. And then exhale, push the floor away. Dome in the upper back, really curve the spine. All right, let's do that a few more times. Inhale in, lift up towards the sky. Exhale, again, this is your time to experience your body, to inhabit your body. Many times when things get stressful and chaotic, we almost feel like we leave our body or we get so in our head that we don't feel it. So this is your time to fully experience and inhabit your beautiful body. Nice, inhale in and then come into neutral. We're gonna tuck our toes underneath us and just sit it back right here. Take the knees out nice and wide. Reach the arms forward right here and allow yourself to sink down towards the mat. Beautiful, take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale. Now if this is challenging for you, that's okay. Maybe you have really tight shoulders or really tight lats, so that might be why. So that's okay, we're gonna take it a little bit deeper. If you're ready, you can join me and I'm just gonna kinda slide myself forward as I slide my knees back. So I'm just deepening the stretch here in my shoulders and in my lats. So we're just opening up this position as we prep for our downward facing dog. Good, reach, keep reaching. I think it feels so good. A nice spinal <laughs> opening as the shoulders open, the lats open. Beautiful, nice big deep breath in. And exhale, release, come on up. Good, now we're gonna take the right leg back. So I'm on the tops of the toes there and just kind of push back into the right heel, just like this, to stretch out the calf. Again, we're prepping ourselves for downward facing dog. And then go to the other side. Just little pulses here. Nice, now bring the knees back, tuck the toes underneath you, and then we're gonna sit all the way back onto those toes. So you probably feel a nice stretch there in the toes, right? Sitting on them, sitting on your heels. This is a great stretch to do all the time. I love doing this, especially if I'm in heels, uncomfortable shoes. I like to do this stretch to stretch out the bottoms of my feet. Okay, now we're gonna reach the hands forward, tuck the toes under, and then now let's rise all the way up into our downward facing dog. Take this at your own pace. Pedal out the feet. And now notice how we did that prep exercise for the shoulders, right? So the shoulders are externally rotated. 
the palms are pressed down into the floor, gripping through your finger pads. Elongate through the sides of the waist and just kind of find yourself in this downward dog. Think about lifting the tailbone up towards the sky. Ribs pull in. Good, and just pedaling out like a cat pedaling right here. Beautiful. Taking this just one step at a time. Lower those knees down. And let's come back into that puppy pose one more time. Knees are open and we're gonna reach forward. Try to get ourselves deep into that shoulder stretch. Now right here, I want you to actually turn the palms up so that you begin to externally rotate the shoulders. So palms face up. Beautiful. I love this stretch. It really helps to open up the sides of the waist and the lats and it helps you with that overhead reach. All right, and then let's come back up. Tuck the toes under. We're gonna come into all fours. This time we're gonna tuck the toes under and we're gonna pull the knees up off of the floor and we're just gonna hold here and hover. Good, soften through the shoulders and lats and the, and the traps. Nice, now push yourself all the way back to a downward facing dog and find stillness here. Breathe in and out through your nose. Find a, a position, a downward dog that just feels comfortable for you. Take a big deep breath in. Feel the ocean breeze. It's a little breezy here today in Manhattan Beach. But just imagine yourself here with me on the sand under the sun and breathe in that ocean breeze. Nice, now walk those feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Good. Hold here and just bend the knees. Bend the knees, allow yourself to hang and let go. Grab opposite shoulders or elbows if that feels okay for you. And just hold, hang through the head. Let the head be heavy. Good. And then right here, let go of those hands and slowly rise up to standing all the way up to the top of the mat beautiful okay we're going to take another forward fold here so let's just first take the arms up inhale in exhale bring the hands to heart center and bring the hands right here into the center of the chest and this is a little reminder to lift the heart up so anytime i bring my hands here it's just a little signal to let myself shine, let my chest lift, to squeeze the shoulder blades together, to lift up taller and prouder. So it's a nice little reminder that I give to myself. So just wanted to share that if that's helpful for you. And let's take a forward fold. You can bend the knees. Nice forward fold all the way down. Good, and then let's slowly roll up all the way up. One vertebrae at a time. Beautiful. Now right here, we're gonna step the left foot back. Toes are gonna be slightly at an angle. And my right toes are forward. So we're gonna head into a warrior two. So I want you to imagine a line down the middle of your mat and one, one foot's gonna be on one side of that and the other foot's gonna be on the other side. So you're splitting the middle. Now, the toes stay forward. This one's slightly angled. Okay, then you turn your body and face forward. This is for warrior two. Now just kind of understand where your hips are. Take a few hip circles just like this. Noticing how this opens and noticing how your hips feel and go the other way. It's gonna feel really, really good, especially if you have tight hips. Good, it's a great little exercise here. Now just begin to settle in. Now the goal of Warrior 2 isn't to get all the way super down, okay? I see sometimes people doing that and it doesn't need to be low. It's more about finding the position of the hips and feeling strong and proud. Nice, so hips are forward. Now from here, reach the arms out to the side. Palms face up first. I, this is my little trick to get the shoulders open. 
keep the shoulders open just like that and then just turn the hands. There you go. That's your warrior two. Look straight beyond those fingertips and feel this strength building up in your body. Nice. And then we're gonna rise on up, inhale in. Exhale, lower. Inhale in. Exhale. One more time, inhale in. And exhale, hold here. Now we're gonna take a reverse warrior all the way back. Now here, just make sure that you're not pushing into your knee. It barely slides down. You're not, I'm not even putting weight into it. Make sure that you're still bending in that front knee and come on up. Beautiful work. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So remember there's a middle line right there. Foot's on one side, other foot's on the other. You're splitting the middle. So this toe is at a 45 degree angle. This one is forward. So take little hip circles right here and you're facing sideways. Nice, so you really, really wanna think about pushing through the knife edge out here and lifting through the arch of the foot. Okay, so a lot of times I see the, a collapse. No collapsing, right? Really push the edge of that foot. It's gonna help you a lot in this pose, in a lot of other poses too. All right, now once you've done your hip circles, stay here, bring the ribs down, reach the arms out, nice. Now we're gonna inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, in. Feel the inner thighs coming together. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, in. Exhale, lower. And let's take a reverse. So remember, not too heavy here. You're just barely gliding down. You can look up towards the sky. Get deeper into the front leg and come on up beautiful now turn both toes forward and take a nice big jump towards the middle <laughs> nice okay now come towards the top of the mat take a big inhale in and we're going to take a forward fold one more time so you can bend the knees if you need to just forward fold all the way down and then rise all the way back up again root to rise and bring the hands to the heart center. Nice, I'm gonna turn to face you. As we do one more move here, we're gonna reach the arms up towards the sky, bring everything in towards the center, and I'm just gonna take what I call a little yogi gun. So the fingers are clasped, first finger and thumb are out. And you're gonna lift up really tall and reach over to the side. Feel that side bend happening there. Squeeze everything together and just go to your furthest point and come on up. Inhale in. Exhale, reach over to the other side. Just inhabiting your body, experiencing your body. Nice big deep breaths and up. Good, release the hands here like this, like a cactus. And inhale and exhale and up and then bring the hands to heart center bow your head down towards your heart and your hand to close out our practice together and just know that the journey ahead is beautiful and the journey was all where the magic happens being present here and allowing yourself to be okay with being a beginner with learning with being open to what's possible for you. All right, beautiful work, namaste. I'm Action Jacqueline, and I hope you enjoyed our class together. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here, and I can't wait to work out with you in our next video. Bye.